everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Terrell. And my name is Brendan. Here we are, BNT Reacts. And today we are checking out. I sent a quiz to all the boys I've loved. Dot, 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 dot. And this is by Debs Michael. Um, I, th I think the title was kind of like, um, like the Netflix movie. What's the Netflix movie? Like to all the guys. It wasn't just like all to the all boys I've loved. Yeah. I think it's like it's something, it's a play off of that title. Um, but interested to check this out and see what's in this quiz to see, uh, See, see what they gonna answer to and how they gonna answer to it. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> uh, but it's a pretty long video, so we're just gonna get right into it. Make sure you also subscribe and like the video. Let's go. How awkward is this? He says, don't ever make me do this again or I will break you. How though? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bienvenue à la YouTube Chan Chan. I put out a little form on my community tab, I think on Sunday, just asking for some general feedback, just some advice. And you guys left a lot of advice, a lot of feedback, which I love because I love interacting with you guys. And somebody left a little video idea and they said that you should send a quiz to all your crushes, which I saw this trend in 2020 and I was like, yeah, not me. I'm sorry. It's just, I'm not the one. But you know what? I'm a late bloomer. Make sure you guys are all subscribed so that you get notified for whenever I put out polls or Google Forms. I actually figured out like last week that there's a feature that tells you who is subscribed and who isn't and i went into yeah. my youtube analytics why was the ratio it's always yeah, a big ratio yeah ours is bigger than that you mean to tell me the next two-thirds of y'all are just watching and be like okay next no 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 <laughs> stay click the button become part of the um i don't have a name yet i, I don't know if that's like too early but like you can all be my grandchildren i'm 98 so i'm grandma dead go oh, do that now what? i'm adopting everybody who subscribes and i will know if you don't subscribe or not and if you don't then i'm giving you the silent treatment okay for you also make sure to follow me on instagram because i've been very active lately and i also have a discord as well the discord is very it's very out of pocket we talk about some very interesting things <laughs> I sent out a Google form to six lucky boys that I've liked in the past. It's funny because when I text them, I was like, hey, how have you been? Hope you're doing well. Can you just fill this little form for me? Thanks. And then the way it sends, it's just like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're reading this, I had a crush on you. Wow. Caption, hey. If you received a link to this Google form, it means that I had a crush on you at some point in my life. This is just for fun and entertainment purposes. So please answer each question honestly. Thank you for doing this for me. I really appreciate it. P.S. I'm keeping your name anonymous for the video, so feel free to get juicy. <laughs> Did you know that I liked you? If you knew that I liked you, how were you able to tell? Did you ever like me? Rate my physical attractiveness. I was going to do a scale of 1 to 10, but Bex was like, girl, switch up. That's my whole Give me that the <laughs> A tier ranking the whole time. So the tiers are A, give me that the bussy, B, you're sexy, C, pretty, D is cute. Oh, there's two D's. Oopsies. I didn't put E. Not my type, but you're cool. Read my personality, first impression of me, distinct memory with me, and something you like about me, slash something that annoys about me. How awkward is this? And any last words, slash a message for the people who will see this. Open them up! I mean, yeah. okay, so we have <laughs> see what, what they say. Bob Marley, Hunt. Randy, Whoa. Love Bug, we have Senor Guapo, and we have Giggle. Let's start with giggles. Giggles? Why okay. Rand Randy just... <laughs> Ew, I don't want to do this! Okay. Giggles, okay. okay. This is Giggles. For context, Giggles is a high school crush, and he, like the name says, he was, like, the funniest person I've ever met. And I think that was probably the first time when I, like, fell, not fell in love, but I really was attracted to somebody's personality, because he was just generally the funniest person ever. As a trait, I really like him. People. Like, if you're funny, I just love you automatically. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that I liked you? He said no. Oh, fair. If you knew that I liked you, how are you able to tell? He says, not a clue, TBH. Did you ever like me? He didn't choose any of the options. He said other. He said, for sure would have if we continued hanging more. Definitely was vibing, though. Rate my physical attractiveness. He said other again. You were more reserved when I would see you in public. But I see you have become way more comfortable with your clothing and just yourself in general, which is super attractive and makes me happy for you. Aww. Haven't seen you in a while, but still very pretty from what I can tell. Hmm. Okay, let's do it. Make it a giggle again. Yeah. Make it a giggle again. Make it a giggle again. Ew, I can't do that. Come on back. Come back to the camera. For Raymond personality. Is that, um, is that Martin Vick? For first impression, he said, honestly, don't even remember when we, like, first met in high school, but I don't remember the situation. Always thought you were really cool and hilarious. See, like, we were, he was so funny. I was, like, I distinct memory with me hanging out during grade nine day when you were on the leadership thingy and i was just there for some reason and we chilled all day at the school and literally laughed the entire day because they're probably the two funniest people the school has seen in a long mm. time and you freestyled on the piano and i was making you laugh from the side great day oh this is so cute uh i can't read this 
Take it. I, I hope nobody ain't dragging her on these phones. I yeah, this one's yeah, nice. How awkward is this? He said not awkward at all. Any last words? You know what, Yo, what's going on, guys? Let me know in the comment section if you think Deborah should use me more on her channel. Y'all <laughs> <Yes. laughs> be so weird. He's so funny. So that was cute. Thanks, giggles. I've never laughed more around a boy. I didn't even think boys were that funny. Right, giggles. That was cute. Oh, I kind of miss him. What the heck? Alright, let's not get into the <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, next. The next boy on the roster is Bob Marley. Okay, grades four and then grade Ooh. ten. Okay. Fun fact about this one. I said in the Google form, I said, give me a real name and I will give you the fake name. He decided to give himself a fake name. I've known him since <coughs> middle school. I used to tease him a lot. Clearly, I have been gunning for this enemies to lovers relationship without even being aware of it. But yeah, in high school, we did not talk that much. But like, he was so funny. He came off as very soft and he's kind of the opposite to my personality, I think. Did you know that I liked you? He said, no. Mm. Um, he wouldn't. If you knew that I liked you, how were you able to tell? He said, didn't know. <laughs> Did you ever like me? Rather not say, mind your business. <laughs> All right. Wow. Rate my physical attractiveness. He said, not my type, but you're cool. Rate my personality. He gave me an eight. Okay. First impression of me, he said, evil. Oh, <laughs> okay. You're evil. Met with me, he said, elementary. <laughs> because I was not yeah, he was, he was torturing that kid. Much. I, I couldn't articulate that yes, so, so i remember we used to chase him around i used to literally chase this man around like was... something you don't like about me or something that annoys you about me he said nothing really how awkward is this not my favorite mm -hmm. <laughs> any last words a message for the people who will see this and he said nothing uh bob marley i am sorry for the chaos <laughs> and how much of a menace i was in middle school. I, I regret Bob Marley's an evil. Mm. <laughs> evil. <laughs> Not a fan. I think I'm just embarrassing because, like, I really thought I didn't like this band. I'm like, man, I hate this guy. All well, of a sudden, I'm like, no, nah, hold on. <laughs> anyway. All right, grade 11. This next boy, his nickname is Senor Guapo because I did not have a conversation with him. We didn't have anything in common. I just saw him and I'm like, Hey, it was weird because like when I had a crush on him, like you guys know me, you know how loud and annoying I am. When he would be in like a group conversation, I lost all my personality. I would literally stand there and be quiet. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. I was shy. Mm -hmm. I was shy. Me, shy. Did you know that I liked you? He said no. Did you ever like me? He said kind of. Okay. Rate my physical attractiveness. He said you're sexy. What about the debussy? You don't want my debussy though. Oh my mm -hmm. god. Rate my personality. He gave me a nine. Okay, I love. Bro, physical talkingness, throw the door. If the personality is high, I'm gonna give you two. I'm high. If, oh uh, my gosh, if any of these people rate my personality low, I would actually cry. That's, that's all I yeah. know. The first impression of me, he said, remember saying to my friend that she's different. My friend was friends with him. One time I came to school and she told me that he thought I was cute and I literally went home, journaled about it, couldn't recover for about four days. Uh -huh. <laughs> Cute. Distinct memory with me when you lost my ring at the lake. Oh no! <laughs> we hung out That's and hard. we went to the lake. It was cute, except he took off his ring. And I'm so clumsy. We were sitting on rocks, so it literally fell in between a crevice, and we just went the boop. And he looks at me, he's like, "That was my family ring." Oh! <gasps> Damn! Oh like, my! I'll, I'll get you back. I'll pay you back for that one. I feel bad though. <laughs> it was like a family heirloom. I'm. So so sorry, Senior Guapo. I remember I told Bex, so she's like, oh, how was that? I'm like, it was good. He looked at me like he wanted to kill me. So there was that. Mm -hmm. Something you don't like about me slash something that annoys you about me. Nothing TVH, you're a cool guy. How awkward is this? I don't care. Any last words slash a message for the people who will see this? And he didn't say anything. If you're watching this, I'm, I'm very sorry about that, that ring situation. I still think about that. Every time I talk to you, I'm like, he probably still is mad about that. Mm -hmm. And I'll be too. I apologize. Okay, Randy. <laughs> I Randy is the most generic. Randy. I know, it's just like a random name. Him. He's like the outlier. Like, if I made a graph and I was like, okay, how accurate are my crushes? He was like that one point. Like, it's just a random. I don't even oh. know how it happened, but for context. You know how it Randy and I, we never had like a, a talking face at all. I did a lot of like extracurriculars in high school. So like just like sports and different clubs. And he did some of them too. So I think when you're part of a team, you spend a lot of time with them. There was this one time in 2018, or was it 2019? That was the year. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was at a, a 
I think it was a New Year's party, and out of nowhere, Randy literally gives me a hug. And don't even say, like, wow, you're easy. It was a hug. That's what took it for... No, he gave me a hug, but it was, like, one of those hugs that, like, I was like, oh, my God. This <laughs> is... This is too much for me. I don't think I recovered from it. Really. You didn't even describe the hug. Okay, to describe... It for me, I was sleeping. You came home. <laughs> The first hug he gave me was at New Year's party. He doesn't remember it, but anyways, he picked me up, and I was, I've never been picked up. I've never been held. I literally never, like, bro, y'all need to remember that I'm very inexperienced. I've only kissed girls in my life. So when it comes to guys and male contact, I'm like, what is, what's going on here? <laughs> so he hugged me, and I don't know how, but he, he's really tall, but he, like, picked me up, and then my legs were dangling. So I'm like, let me just wrap my legs around for some more support. And then he, like, took me to the stairs and left me. He walked away. I was like... <laughs> and then I saw him again, I think, in December, and that was the time. I was like, oh, like, hey, how are you? You know, I'm just catching up. And the whole time, back in my head, I'm like, if you don't hug me before you leave like you did in 2018, you're canceled. And he did. It was so cute. I was, like, leaning up against the wall, and I was like this. So I'm like, hmm, hmm, hmm. And he came. Oh, I can't. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. It wasn't just a hug, okay? I mean, it was like... It was a hug. It was a hug. Mm. I'm like, oh, like, <laughs> this is a hug. Like, what's your name? So, my name is Randy. Did you know that I liked you? He said, no. If you knew that I liked you, how were you able to tell? Couldn't tell at all, genuinely. Seemed like you despised my existence. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, ah. It seems like you despised I don't think I you did. You definitely did. Did you ever like me? Yes. Oh, that's Ooh. the one. Uh-oh. Ah. Ah. Damn. You're lying. If you're watching this, you're lying. No way My cheeks are. Cut. No, he didn't. He didn't. Don't deny He's a liar. There's no way. There's no way. Not this five stages of grief. We could have been. No, I probably didn't. I'm, I'm so bad. You would have been. I wouldn't. <laughs> I didn't expect any of the guys to say yes. I'm sorry. Rate my physical attractiveness. He said you're sexy. Rate my personality. He gave me an eight. Okay. First impression of me. You were pretty nice and funny with the right amount of rudeness at the same time. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not the tongue. <laughs> Oh. Oh. I'm eating that one. Um, ew, don't tell me this. I can't. Distinct memory with me. Track and field meets were always a show of their own. Also, science class with Mr. Gordon and the constant disruption sitting behind me. <laughs> something you don't like about me slash something that annoys about me. He said, your friend. Be sure to let them know. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> Not getting shady, Randy. <laughs> How awkward is this? Not my favorite. Any last words? A message for the people who will see this. He didn't say anything. I'm surprised. That one probably got me the most surprised because I don't think he ever liked me. But I think track and field had a lot to do with it. When you spend enough time with people and you start like, you make memories, you laugh with them, you smile with them, you're just, they just become very dear to you. Stop, you're gonna get my feelings. <laughs> what do you mean he liked you back? I mean, the hug, at least he's not gonna hug out of it. Okay, I think about those two hugs at least twice a week. I'm so shocked. Like, and then he said, funny with the right amount of rudeness. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting out of hand. I don't like showing too much emotion, okay? All right, honey butter. In eighth grade. The next crush is honey butter biscuit. For context, he was my, I think, middle school, definitely a grade eight crush because once again, you spend a lot of time with people and I'm just, I'm a quality time person. So when I spend enough time with you, I'm like, okay, like, no, it could have been more on the obvious side for him, and... Plus, it was in high school. Yeah, in elementary, I think I was a lot more bold, because as soon as we got to high school, we didn't talk. I could probably count the amount of conversations we had on one hand in the four years of high school. He's like one of those personalities where you don't think there's much there, and then you get to know them, and you realize that there's a lot more than the surface level. And I was like, wow, like, I actually enjoyed talking to you. So, what is your name? This is Honey Butter Biscuit. Did you know that I liked you? He said, kinda. Yeah. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Back it up. If you know that I liked you, how are you able to tell? Grade eight. Wow! Wow, you really just spilled the tea. Ooh. Yes, get the tea. <laughs> grade eight grad trip. We sat together. Oh! Oh. <laughs> you told me about this. I did, I did. <laughs> you put a whole paragraph. Okay. So, that be bad. I'm, I'm yes. I'm not, I'm not even gonna act like I'm mad about that. I'm actually <laughs> very grateful that you would do that. So, great A grad trip. We sat together on the coach bus. You fell asleep on my shoulder. You would play with my hair and touch my hands a lot. Plus, you told me you liked me, but that another girl had dibs on me. Whatever 
that me. Oh, <laughs> personality i would because as soon as i went to high school or as soon as i got in high school i think my confidence depleted and it's getting back up there again so this is not like a pity party for me i think the grade 8 graduate we're going to quebec so you know you're, you're on the bus for what five hours or maybe it was ottawa i guess i was just like wow like, i really like this person and looking back it definitely was very obvious i don't even remember saying that i like full out was like i like you but someone has dips so i'm just gonna back off mm. but knowing me that's something i would do mm. i'm not even in a competitive way i'm like i just don't want to get involved did you ever like me other Elementary school crush. Very good way to describe it because that is exactly how I feel. Too scared to do anything about it. Wow! We're like the same person. I would say this exact same thing. Rate my physical attractiveness. He said, you're sexy. Rate my personality. He gave me a nine. Okay. I'm flying high on his personality rating. Oh my god. First impression of me. Athletic, cute, and good smile. I think he told me that in like the eighth grade too. And I was, he did. He, he always said the same thing about me. He literally like, I don't know if anybody remember, why would anybody remember this? But, Person, um, what? <laughs> just pretend that we're all just, you guys are all just best friends and we talk about this Okay. Part. But literally in like the eighth grade, it was some grade, I remember asking him, like we would just talk about our things. Not like, oh, what qualities like me, what qualities, just, you know, conversation. And he literally said, I'm letting cute, good smile. Like exact same thing. I literally remember being complimented that way in grade eight. And he said it again, and I'm like, full circle moment. Mm. Distinct memory with me, he says, I guess the coach bus at grad or French class where you would roast them me because i'm Ooh. french i'm not name dropping so i'm gonna blur the names out uh, something you don't like about me he said the sarcasm we kind of stopped talking once we got into high school very true i yeah you're really sarcastic i am very sarcastic he I mean, <laughs> probably gets the brunt of your sarcasm he definitely yeah and he's probably the most sensitive yeah which i'm like what is this i don't know why i thought yeah no i'm trying to tone down on that a little are you so i do understand where you're coming from <laughs> anyway we did right. stop talking but <laughs> You got popular. Let's not even deny the facts. You were that guy and I was not that girl. How awkward is this? He says, I don't care. Any last words slash a message for the people who will see this? He says, Deb sucks at telling guys she likes them. Mm, yeah. All right. Wow. Pack it up. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. That's true. Uh, he's like my oldest crush. It does suck that we stop talking in high school, but it happens. So here we are. Last year, okay. This one, Beck says I have to save for last, which I don't know why. Mm. But we all know. Well, we know. Ew, don't say it. it. Okay, ew, I'm acting like a 12 year old. This is embarrassing. Um, we started talking for a bit. It wasn't anything serious, but he was the first crush that I allowed myself to like instead of trying to beat myself up for it or make myself feel bad for having feelings, which we all have because we're all human. Did you know that I liked you? He said, kinda. If you knew that I liked you, how were you able to tell? Showed a lot of interest. Okay, this is like a healthy, this is good. For sure. Did you ever like me? He said, kinda. Rate my physical attractiveness? He said, give me Ooh. that. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rate my personality, he gave me a one. Trash, throwing tomatoes. Okay, love bug. First, is that a joke? Cute and nice. Distinct memory with me. You were my bae in like grade five, you just don't remember. Apparently in the fifth grade, we did this thing where we would pair up with people and call them our bays. And he said that I was his, but I generally don't remember that. I do, I'm sorry. Something you don't like about me. He says, you smell weird. How awkward is this? What? He says, don't ever make me do this again or I will break you. Oh. How though? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. <laughs> Any last words slash a message for the people who will see this? He says, run while you can. <gasps> I can't listen! Run! <laughs> okay, yeah, he's got dragon. Yes. Ew. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> <laughs> so that was me reading Google Forms of my past crushes. All the boys. To all the boys I've loved, to all the boys I've had massive crushes on, who I've harassed. For most of these, I would like to formally come on this platform and apologize because I know I can be sarcastic when I have feelings for people, but it was literally all love. <laughs> you would think are insignificant or that you would think would be insignificant to the person it's, could it's, mean a lot more yeah, yeah because a lot of these moments i remember but i kind of was like okay like they wouldn't remember that like i just don't think they would care so then reading like especially the memory part i'm like oh Always like feelings i didn't even know that you remembered that i didn't think you would even care so, oh. a lot of these questions were from high school high school was like most teenagers when my confidence was at its all-time low i just gave up very easily and i didn't really put myself out there i just i sold myself short and i knew or i thought that if 
I were to pursue these certain people that I would just be embarrassed and disappointed. So I kept it to myself, I kept it to my journal, I kept it to my sister. So it's kind of my fault that I didn't really, I wasn't really obvious enough. Did you take a shot every time you get out the camera and be like, <laughs> <laughs> I just can't with the whole shot of orange feeling juice, thing. No. I can't believe Randy liked me back. He's the only one that liked me back and said yes. Mm. Uh, what? My camera just died. She didn't oh, die, but oh. I ran out of SD footage. So pretend you're watching this in 4K. Mm. That was me. Why am I holding this? Put it away. <laughs> Put it away. <laughs> that was me reading off the results of the Google Forms that I sent to all of my crushes. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I know I didn't. It was so <laughs> annoying. I hated this video so mm. much. <laughs> Be nice to the people you love and don't be afraid to put yourself out there because at the end of the day, you don't want to be like me and have regrets. As much as you like to stay in your comfort zone, you can't grow from there. Growth and comfort, they're not friends. They don't coexist in the same verse, universe, yeah. multiverse. Do yourself a favor <laughs> and be honest with yourself. Allow yourself to feel feelings because they're natural. It's literally what we all are made. Like, we're just feelings, we're emotions. Put yourself out there, be honest with yourself because in the day, if you don't, it'll eat you up and it'll eat at everything. Okay, it's like a little, I was gonna call it a macrophage, but I think it's the fact that I'm spending too much time studying. So anyways, thank you for watching. I love you all. And I'm saying that with my mouth. Take tips, take notes. People who are like me and love to be sarcastic. I love you guys all so, so. All right, that's basically it in the video. Uh, uh, what did you think of it? <laughs> um, It was good. Uh, I thought that it was interesting. I guess I, I don't know. I, I don't, I never thought to like ever make a video like this. Like I never thought anybody would. That is very, maybe I'm just not like ballsy enough. Mm -hmm. um, or I don't, I don't, I was, try, I was still trying to think like, I don't even think I can really think of crushes that I would have contact with. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it was also different cause I'm like gay. So it was kind of like a lot of trauma there. Um, but. I think that Deb was just as funny as she always is. And uh, I don't know, it was really interesting. It was a different video. So I was, I don't know, I always love to see new ideas. Like, you know, I think a lot of YouTubers can get into like the same kind of thing sometimes. And I don't know, it was really something different. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Um. So apparently this was a thing in 2020. I didn't realize this was a thing. She said that in the beginning. Oh, no, I didn't. Hear um, that. So it, it was a thing, so I didn't know that. But yeah, like you said, it was a um, great video, very original. Um, n nonetheless, very original. Um, yeah, I, 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 I don't even think to do this type of idea because I can't even remember if I had any crushes. That's just literally like once, once I don't see you for a good while, you yeah, are my get out of my it, There have been several people that I've known that I knew when I was younger. Um, that has seen me now as an adult and was like, hey, do you remember me? I'm like, no. <laughs> and I'm not trying to be like rude or anything. I'm just like, I, my memory is terrible. I'm sorry. I, I don't remember nothing. Um, I don't remember having a crush on, I remember having maybe like one or two crushes, but at that, I, I, I didn't really have crushes on people either. I really, I didn't like it. I was like, get the fuck away from me, especially in high school. I was like, everybody leave me alone. I just wanted to get through my day and get through. I was worried about trying to make it to school. I wasn't trying to, I wasn't worried about <laughs> Any drama. Who was school. in school? I was trying to make it to school. I was trying to force myself to go to school because I hated school. So I wasn't really, I wasn't really crushing on anybody. Um, maybe at elementary school, but that's the only ones I can remember. Other than that, not really. <laughs> Anyway, to solve this reaction, if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you also hit that subscribe button and go ahead and comment down below what you thought about this reaction if you want to check out more videos like this one, and we will. And make sure to follow us on our second channel, our Discord, our separate channels, and all of our social media. Yes, but that is all for this reaction, and we're out. Bye! Bye.